In this video, I'll be answering a frequently asked question about the Xtool M1. Can it cut acrylic? I'll be making a QR code sign for a small business and need to know the best settings to use for that project. So I figured I'd share my findings with you. I bought these sheets from makerstock.com and I'll be testing an opaque black acrylic in this video. I began this project with a material test grid for both laser cutting and laser engraving black acrylic. You can find links to these test files in the description if you wanna save some time. Once the framing was done, the X tool started engraving. Then it moved on to the cuts, and this honestly took a little bit of time. Okay, the job is finished. Finally, you have the engraved pieces and the cut pieces. Now I didn't cut the actual test cards out of the full sheet because I wasn't sure which, like the correct detail until I pulled the masking tape off. But I think I'm gonna go around 290 or 190. did not go all the way through. I think I could just snap that off though. This piece definitely cut through. This is good. But this one just did not go all the way through. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's the engraving piece. As you can see, the power is up top. Speed on the left-hand side. Here's the cut pieces. A lot of it did not cut. It's like half up, but lesson learned. Yeah, I can't push any of these through. So one of these has to be the winner. Okay, I tried to make the numbers a little bit more visible, but it, I think because of the settings and the way I sported, it's just not gonna happen because there's not enough give for the paint to stick to. So hopefully this can be seen, but I have the power running across from 20 to 100. This is the engraving piece. And then the speed goes from 50 at the bottom up to 250 at the top. Um, definitely looks like this area is a good area for engraving the acrylic. It's nice and clean. There's not a lot of engraving lines right around the, I think it's like 270 or maybe around 175. I haven't quite decided, um, but I think I feel like this one's cleaner. This one might have a little bit more detail for smaller uh, smaller things because I will be engraving text around this size so I want to make sure it's visible like this so I might go with this um, and then you can see how deep this one engraved here this is the 50 speed and the 100 power so if you're going for that then you definitely want to go with slower and higher power but I'm really just looking to get uh, visibility for some text. Now I did these in three sets, so it's really just 80, 90, and 100, um, but from left to right, I did multiple passes. So as you can see, this group of three columns is one pass using the machine. These three, it's also 80, 90, and 100. This is two passes, and then I have 80, 90, 100, and three passes. And from lowest to quickest speed, so lowest being one millimeters per second, and then 10, millimeters per second. I've seen way too many conflicting YouTube videos, so I tried to get something within this full range and I wanted it as detailed as possible so I can actually get the best possible result. I believe the default setting right now for three millimeter black acrylic on the Xtool Creative um, Suite program or whatever it's called, it is 80, 90, and 100. They give you this, these three options, um, but the power being two, five, and eight is where it jumps to. I don't really see the higher ones being an option. There is a bit of bubbling. It's not super noticeable, but you can kind of see here, there is a bit of a lift in the outlines and it's definitely more noticeable the lower you go here. And you can kind of tell right in here, it's a bit choppy. So I wouldn't recommend going with a one if you're using the X12 one. Now on the back is really where it's visible here. A lot of bubbling happened on the backhand side. Now I left the masking tape on both sides, front and back. So I was really surprised to see all of this happen. I'm not really sure why that is. Um, but again, this is the slowest setting, so you're gonna get the most bubbling happening on the slowest setting, which is one. It's hard to 
find one that's both good on the front and the back. But I'm thinking around, and what I used to actually cut out this whole piece here, which looks pretty clean, except for the part where I screwed up and forgot to put the air assist on. I highly recommend air assist if you're using acrylic, because I think it helps to reduce some of that bubbling. Um, but right here in 90 power and two speed, you just have to do some testing on, on your end. It could definitely cut through acrylic, as you can see. Could it do better? Of course it could. This is a diode laser, so the CO2 would be able to blow through this no problem. But I think for what this machine can do, these are pretty good results. I hope this video was as helpful for you as it was for me. After figuring out the settings, I was able to create this sign. If you're interested in seeing the full tutorial, check out the next video.